Okay, so for this video, we're going to look at the concept of impulse, which is the change in momentum over a time interval. So we're going to go back to dynamics and Newton. So Newton's law is the sum of all forces equals the mass times acceleration. The fundamental equation for acceleration is change in velocity over change in time. So we're going to combine these two ideas together. Instead of having the A in Newton's law, we're going to put in this kinematic relation which gives us sum of all forces equals mass times change in velocity over change in time. Or we can write the change in velocity as V2 minus V1 over delta T. I'm simply going to take my mass and multiply it through the changes of velocity, which would give us, which would give us MV2 minus MV1. Momentum is mass times velocity, so this would actually be momentum 2 and momentum 1. So this is momentum at the end of an interaction, this is momentum at the beginning of an interaction over a time interval will be equal to the sum of all forces. So we could write it to look like this, the sum of all forces is equal to change in momentum over change in time. And if we do a multiplication of both sides by delta t, and if we multiply both sides by delta t, we get change in momentum, otherwise known as impulse, is equal to the sum of the forces times the time interval. So when we have two objects that come into collision or an interaction, the force can increase as the objects are coming into contact and decrease as they're going out, which means we can have a graph that looks something like this. So as we can see, the force on the vertical axis, the force is increasing up until time of 5 seconds. So this is the object coming into contact. Force increases to a maximum as the objects start to spread out. Maybe they bounce off each other. Force comes back down again and it goes down to zero. Okay, so we find the area underneath the curve, which in this case is a triangle. So area of a triangle is base time site divided by 2. The base is 10 seconds, the height is 5 newtons, divided by 2, giving us 25, and the units are newton seconds. And as we said earlier, that the area under the curve is the impulse. So our impulse is 25 newton seconds. As this tennis ball comes down and makes contact, the forces between it and the tabletop are changing as it goes in and coming back out again in a non-linear fashion. So when objects actually come into contact, the graph of the force versus time will not be a linear shape. It will not be a triangle. It'll end up looking more like this. So as the objects come into contact, there is a steep increase in the force till you reach the peak, and then there is a drop off. It will be symmetrical. And what I'm going to do is put in a couple of construction lines just to show the symmetry of it. Okay, so what I've done is thrown a couple of these dotted lines. There is this bisector which goes down and it happens to be at the midpoint time. Uh, there is a line halfway at the 400. The maximum looks like it's close to 800. So what we want to be able to do is find the area under this curve, but it is a bit of an odd shape. So unless we're going to use calculus, we'll have to use a little bit of uh, geometry. Okay, so we need to find the area underneath this curve. It is this bit of an odd shape. So what I've done is taken the top half of the curve and made a tracing and I'm just simply going to take the left hand side flip it over and drop it right in this position same thing with the right hand side and by doing this hopefully we can see that the top half of this curve neatly fits into the bottom section of the curve which basically means that the area of this curve is defined by this rectangular box. So the top half, we've taken it in pieces and brought it down below. So our time interval goes from 30 milliseconds to 70 milliseconds, and the height goes from 0 to 400 newtons. So area under the curve. We have to put our time into seconds, so 40 milliseconds would be 40 times 10 to the negative 3. The height was 400 newtons, which means the area under the curve is 16 nanoseconds, which is also known as the impulse. So the impulse for that curve is 16 nanoseconds.